everyone and welcome. We have another exciting edition of Garden State IAA Hoops for you. I'm Joe Lamy. To my side are Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. We'll be seeing the Renfield Foxes play host to the Newark East Eagles. And at this point in the season, we know that we can expect an intense matchup. The Eagles are a much improved team looking to come into Renfield and take one on the road. It won't be easy, but they have the firepower to make it happen. And standing in their way will be Connor Rosenberg, the fantastic guard for the Renfield Foxes. He's got size, touch, just about everything. You can bet he'll be a handful for the Eagles. This beautiful gymnasium will be rocking in no time as the Foxes defend their court against the Eagles. The Eagles are going to begin the game with the lineup of the senior day starting at point guard with Sheffield alongside him. Black is the small forward with Junior in at the four. In the middle of it all is Marseda. Foxes starting with the group of Lee and star sophomore Rosenberg in the backcourt. Joseph and Bishop make up that forward pairing and it's big Bobby Andrews getting the start at center. Well, it's been a good start for the season for the Eagles. You can see their confidence grow with each win they notch. The win helps, but this team knows they have a great roster with the addition of Junior. He's made everyone else better around him, especially with the attention he commands. The body language of this team is completely different than last year. Here's Rosenberg. And another shot, and it's laid in by Andrews. Inside, Andrew's impressive physical gifts help him succeed. It's just tough to counter his raw abilities. Sheffield, outside. Inside. Here's Junior. Plays it up and in off the pretty assist. Yeah, and they'll take that shot anytime they can get it. First quarter, just over a minute play. Pass to Andrews. Gets double team. Gregory, he's covered by Sheffield. Back to Lee. Now here's Bishop. And that comes off the assist by Troy Lee. And Renfield, one of the nicer schools in the area. Their community puts a lot of time and effort into the school, and the results are easy to see. Well, it's one of the more affluent areas in the state, and everybody knows it. Still, it's always nice to see a community rally around their high school and give them the resources they need. Here's Lee. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. I love when Andrews hustles like this. He's being rewarded for not giving up on the play. Outside, Black. Junior. Outside, Black. Side. Pass to Sheffield. And here is Marceda. Junior. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Here's Rosenberg. Over Sheffield. Rosenberg shot is off. Newark East trailing. That's tipped. It's stolen by Connor Rosenberg. Pass to Bishop. That basket's good. Off to a fast start. Two for three. Showing the feel he has for the game. Lee, nice work. Realizes one of his guys is open. Return to Sheffield. Now here's Lack. Now Junior, right side. Yep, count it. will be the Fox's ball. Renfield calls timeout. And the Eagles will go for a different look here. Here's Roberts. Pass to Grace. And here is Madison. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Now here's Roberts. Indra defending. Madison can't hit it. Now the Eagles with it. Four point game. Here's Junior. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Go! Go! 
Outside. Now here's Roberts. Outside. Juicy. Madison. Roberts. Indra defending. Outside. Juicy. Back to Roberts. That one, no good. And while every game hasn't been smooth sailing for Newark, one thing you can see from this team is they are improving each game. And Joe, that's a big credit to both Coach Bishop as well as the senior leadership on Newark. It's been a special year for this group in large part of their hard work. Good fundamental basketball by Kennedy. The senior working hard to involve his teammates on the play. Swing to Madison. Here's Joseph, and it's out of bounds to the Foxes as Renfield retains. I got yours, I got yours. Now here's Lack, stolen by Bishop. Again, the miss by the Foxes. Here's Newark East, trailing by four. Sheffield, outside. Returns today. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. And it's Christian Sheffield with the three. No hesitation from Sheffield. Shots like these help him get into a rhythm on offense. Outside, Lee. Gregory. High post, Robert Andrews. Back to Bishop. Lee, guarded by Day. And here's Bishop. He's got five. Back to Rosenberg. A three-pointer off the mark. And while Coach Bishop did play ball himself in high school, he wasn't a standout athlete. I remember hearing about him playing, very much of a game manager type of guard. Coach didn't try to do too much with him. He had strong fundamentals and overachieved given his lack of athleticism. Pretty much exactly what you want in a coach. High IQ basketball from Sheffield. He gets himself an easy assist by feeding the wide open man. Good! Now Jay. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Sheffield, outside. Here's Junior. Robert Andrews with the rebound. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Yeah, Drake, they have battled to a standstill on the board. The game's not over yet. We'll see who keeps up this energy. He gets it in there. He's been setting a great example so far, making quality shot selections. Renfield trailing. Pass to Andrews. And here is Gregory, covered by Junior. They double him with Junior. Now here's Andrews, covered by Junior. Rosenberg misses. Just can't buy a basket, trying to get back on track somehow. Or if he could pass the ball more, I mean, that's a thought. Now here's Andrews. He's guarded by Marceda. Outside, Lee. Shoots the three. No luck on that one. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half of play. Eagles out in front. They lead by one. And the third quarter of action coming up right after the halftime break. Second half getting started. Renfield playing host to Newark East here on Garden State IAA Sports. And with Junior, it's easy to see the natural athletic ability that he possesses. He was a great football player, and that fluidity translates to the hardwood well for him. Outside, Bishop. 
pass to Andrews. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And with Junior and his athleticism, he's pretty much having to learn the nuances of basketball on the fly. Well, he's played ball before, no doubt about that. But playing organized ball is a completely different beast. Suffice to say, Junior's done an excellent job adjusting to the team, Dick. And it seems like every time they get a score, it comes off a great pass. Well, Drake, they've done a great job of moving the ball around and not letting the offense get stagnant. Pass to Andrews. Out to the right wing. Right side Lee. Over Day. Lee, no good. And the coaches can't be happy with that ugly possession. I agree. Probably not the shot that they wanted. Knocks down the triple. I like the energy they brought here to the third quarter. Trying to take control of this game. And this is the time to do it. A critical point in the ball game is right upon us. Pass to Gregory. Down low, Rosenberg. Laid in with a nice cut shot off the glass. The Foxes are so fortunate to have such a productive guard. Solid shooting from Rosenberg inside the paint. And the Eagles will call time here. They've been committing a lot of turnovers. Taking care of the basketball is the number one topic in the huddle, I'm sure. They need to tighten it up. And Junior, as many of you know, is the son of Duke. One of the largest figures in Newark Hoops history. And I don't know why Junior waited so long to get into the game of basketball, but I bet his father would be elated now that he's on the floor. Duke was a legend in the area, and Junior would be lucky to have that same kind of impact. The Fox is on offense. They really need to make an adjustment here. Agreed. Nothing is working for them offensively. Time for a change. Pass to Grace. Back to Roberts. Grace with it. Six on the shot clock. Justin Joseph for three. Newark East grabs the miss. Kennedy. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Got one fall. Oh, and they've come out hot. The offense is clicking. They've hit three of four since the break. It's Ben Bishop on the wing. Now guarded by Evans. Grace outside. to Bishop. Now, Madison. Joseph. Offline with the three. And with Renfield, they care quite a bit about their athletics. Tons of money from donations have found their way to the school. They have a lot to show for it. Outside, Bishop. It's Ben Bishop on the wing. Renfield misses again. And with Renfield from the gym to their uniforms, you can usually count on everything being state of the art. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Who wouldn't want to play here? It feels like a country club. And as a result, a lot of potential standout athletes will try and get into Renfield's district just because of how nice the facilities are. And the Foxes call time here. They can't seem to get anything to hit. He needs to pull them in and... Here's Lee, swings it to Ducey, back to Lee, Rosenberg with the ball. He's covered by Sheffield. Lee with it. Here's Andrews, covered by Junior. Junior with the block! On defense, Junior can get very tenacious. Here he manages to completely shut the shooter down with a big block. They're getting torn apart side. Time to show some toughness. Yeah, defend with an edge and some attitude. Let him know there will be no more easy buckets inside. Pass to Rosenberg. That one falls, coming off Robert Andrews' speed. And let's talk Bishop on the Fox. He was the star of the team before Rosenberg stepped up onto varsity, but he's still a very valuable contributor. 
And for a kid his age, you have to applaud the way he stepped aside to let Rosenberg do his thing. That's not always easy to do when you're a teenager. But Bishop's put the team first and shown great senior leadership. This could be a big night for a junior. He's performing admirably, really setting the tone for the Eagles out there. Pass to Andrews. Over Junior. Andrews misses. Checking the stats. They're really getting the work done inside with their rebounding. Yeah, they haven't allowed many second chances at all. It's been one and done for the most part, and that's helped them build this lead. The basket is good. There's that Newark brand of toughness Junior has. And it's the work ethic on the glass you want to see in a young player. Pass to Andrews. Second chance shot. And he takes it up and lays it in. He's a menace on the glass. His offensive rebounding is going to cause problems for opponents for years to come. Sheffield outside. Junior. Andrews with a great defensive effort right there. And a foul called on Junior. That is his first foul of the game. Renfield trailing. And with Rosenberg, you have to be careful of his shot. He owns a very quick and deadly release. His shooting motion, though, it just looks so easy, doesn't it? One of the best shooters in the state, and it's hard to believe that he's just a sophomore. And the Eagles will call time here. And the Eagles making a change here. We've played just over three and a half minutes now into this fourth quarter. Right side, Bishop. Over Sheffield. And no good, trying to use the glass. <laughs> to the middle. And it's stolen away by Joseph. Bishop with it. Picked up by Sheffield. Pass to Joseph. And it's Dustin Joseph with the jam in his veins. What a huge shot from Joseph. That's got to fire him up. And, and with the final whistle sounding, that'll do it for us. Eagles getting a big win here in Redfield as their season of surprise continues. Once again, you can see the impact that Junior has had on the court tonight. This game was a great example of just how different this team is with him in the lineup. And Rosenberg did just about everything he could to make this game as tough as possible. But Newark East got the better of them. They're looking like one of the tougher teams in the division now. Indeed they are, and that'll do it for our broadcast. On behalf of Drake and Danny, I'm Joe Lamy. Thanks for tuning in to our presentation of Garden State IAA Basketball. Hey, hey, easy now. It's okay, Coach, just felt fine when I was playing. Just, just tweaked it at the end there. Mm -hmm. It's good you checked out all the same, yeah? All right. Thank you. Take it easy, man. Go slow. <laughs> so how am I doing now? You did good. You did real good. It was a hard win. And we got some good tape to show the right people. Be one good? It's a step. Two games, it's a small sample size. But it gets the recruiters in the room. Then you get your deal. Assuming that's okay. Oh, yeah, it's just a sprain. I'll be limited next game, but I can still go. Just like your old man. Played through it all. Even in the championship. On a busted foot. And he still dropped 40. You know the story. I know all the stories, Archer. Man, it's cold outside. Let's go get something to eat. On me. You need me to hold that? No, no. 
Hola, linda. Como, si, co, como ay, ay, ay. Yeah, yeah. Ay, this ay, time, ay. I'm working with this kid. I'm oh, working ah. with this one. Yes, Junior. Me da un brazo, me da un brazo. She says you better go over and give her a hug. She remembers when you were a baby. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. Please, sit on the house. Uh -huh. Obrigada. Yeah, man. Uh, photos on these walls. The man, y'all knew. I never knew that man. Yeah, he sacrificed a lot for you and your mom. That's why. I wonder if he would have been in that. Look, I'm gonna stop it right there. All right. This is not gonna be a situation where you start becoming my mentor and giving me all type of life advice. All right. Look, I'm not a victim. I don't got no daddy issues. The man, you knew. It's just not the man I knew. That's all. So what about the next game? Uh, coach just wants me to sit until you're healthy. I agree. Isn't the game after the next one, the big invitational at the at the Barclays? A lot of elite players are going to be there from around the country. Yeah, Andrew Scott. Your father used to coach him, right? Yeah, we was tied to this family moved to New Orleans when we were 12. Y'all still talk? Yeah, uh, here and there on social. His name is number one on every board that matters. Yeah. He's the show, which makes it easy for us to get people there who can push the needle. But that needle ain't gonna budge if you're limited. All right, so what's up, Archie? I mean, clearly you got connections and everybody knows you. So why aren't you working some college job? Oh, I did. Big Ten, Big East. Did it for 20 years. <sighs> then competition got a little heavy. I started coloring outside the lines a little. Your band? No, 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 nothing that dramatic. Still get a job, but. You got that scarlet letter on your chest. And I'm your way back in? That's right. Why should I trust you, man? Oh, you should. But your timeline is short. If you don't got five guys like me knocking at your door, I'm probably uh, your only chance. Look, I, I loved your father like a brother. I was struggling, he was always there for me. In the past, I didn't think that I would have a chance to repay him. Maybe this is my job. So please, just, just think about it, right? Get back to me. Yo, Archie, hold up. Yo, I'm in. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I won't let you down. Archie. Man, give me that ball, man. Wasting my time. Make your move when you got it. You got the angle. Take the step, right. commit. You got me, fine. Wasting go. my time, I got you. I got you, that's what you gotta say? What do you expect me to say? I don't want you to say, why don't you stop putting in the work? Put in the work, Junior. I worked so hard on my step back, the heels on my Jordans unraveled. I gave my heart, my last breath to my team. Everyone I played for in Australia. Yeah, I heard the story before Pop was getting but old. But you're not listening, you got it all figured out now? Why, cause you got a little bit of talent cause you put in a little bit of work? You gonna get old, football player. You'll see. You can cut your whole heart out for this game. What's it gonna get you? For what? Look at me. Where am I right now? You better be prepared to give everything in this game and it still not be enough. Get your head in the game, check ball. Face up. Kick it in. Trainer says if you play in the next game and the knee doesn't get worse, You'd be probably 60, 70 percent for the invitational next week. But if you sit out, you'll be 100 percent. Yeah, if I can play, I'm gonna play. I want to win games too, but I'm taking the decision out of your hands. Wait, coach, you can't. Sitting. I protect my players no matter what, even from themselves. It's too important for your health and your future. End of story.